Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Killot404 and I want to talk about something pretty interesting. It's going to be about difficulty in Nintendo video games. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because the Wii U, uh, we already know that there's going to be a bunch of games coming out for the Nintendo Wii U and there are a lot of hardcore games that a lot of Nintendo gamers love. For example, Super Smash Brothers, the new 3D Mario game, as well as the new Mario Kart game, right? So a lot of games that a lot of people want to play. And I just wanted to bring up this idea of difficulty in video games, especially in Nintendo video games because I feel and I think a lot of people feel as well during the Wii era that Nintendo really focused on the casual crowd with the Nintendo Wii and that's the reason why the Wii sold a lot in millions because so many casual people kind of gravitated towards this uh, easy to go console right and so you know therefore Nintendo with all these new casual gamers coming in with their system they made a lot of their uh, franchises core franchises kind of more casualized to make it more appealing to these casual gamers for example Mario Kart here I'm playing Mario Kart DS and there was this technique called snaking and snaking uh, was like pretty much a technique that made you go faster it was kind of hard to do I guess and it kind of uh, pretty much put a skill barrier between the really elite players and the more casual players and the elite players pretty much always won and I'm always for you know getting better at games and you know showing skill and things like that so I was happy that this advanced technique was in the game however though uh, because of the Wii right the Wii is so casual in Mario Kart Wii they took this out and they added automatic uh, turbo boosting or whatever it's called and that really kind of lowered the skill gap it kind of made the casual players a little bit more uh, in line with the more hardcore elite players you know what I mean it kind of removed that skill gap which kind of you know made that game a little bit less fun to play you know what I mean it's pretty much Nintendo saying that they don't want players like me constantly beating up and smacking these newbies, these casual players. They wanted the casual player to have a little bit more fun so they can win some of the time so they can become happy, right? You know, this this everybody wins sort of mindset that Nintendo had in the past and that really kind of made me frustrated with the Wii. Another prime example too is the Smash Brothers series. In Melee, that game was the pinnacle of the series. The game was really fast paced. There could be a bunch, you could do a lot of combos, you could do a lot of advanced techniques, you could do a lot of wave dashing and things like that. A lot of really skillful techniques in the game were present in Melee, but in Brawl, they took all that stuff out. They made the game really slow paced. They, you can't even combo in Brawl. There are pretty much no combos in Brawl because people can escape combos really easily, right? Uh, there's no wave dashing and things like that. There's a lot of advanced techniques taken out of the game. So in general, you know, this game is much more casual and has been casualized as opposed to the really hardcore game in Melee. Brawl is casual, Melee is more hardcore, and again, it's because Nintendo wants to cater to these more casual players. And that kind of made me really sad, you know, and I, I really kind of didn't like that aspect for the Wii. It, it came to the point where I didn't even buy Mario Kart Wii ever because I just realized this game was so casual, you know what I mean? They really casualized the game, and I really wanted Nintendo to go back to the hardcore crowd, so that kind of made me disappointed. That was in the Wii era, that was in the past. Now we're in the future era, and we're talking now about the Nintendo Wii U, and I think Nintendo is really cognizant about this because they're not necessarily trying to make a console or games anymore for people who are brand new to gaming. You know, they kind of already did that with the Wii. They introduced new players to gaming with the Wii. Now we're in the Wii U era, and I think Nintendo is trying to make games a little bit more difficult, a little bit more challenging, a little bit more hardcore. You can see this, for example, in New Super Luigi U. That game is a much more hardcore game than the first game, you know, because you only have 100 seconds. The platforming is a lot more difficult. The enemies are a lot more difficult. There are places in this game where you could lose upwards up to 40 lives if you don't make that one correct jump at the right moment every single time. You know what I mean? It's a lot harder to play that game. And I appreciate that Nintendo is kind of bringing back the challenge in their games. Another example is the developer for uh, Smash Brothers, Sakurai, the creator of Smash Brothers, or, or the dude who works on it maybe. Mainly. He even said that when he's when he's making the next Smash Brothers game, he wants to make the pace in between Melee and Brawl a little bit slower than Melee and a little bit faster than Brawl. And the reason for this is because he feels that he doesn't have to make a game anymore for casual players, which was of course Brawl. He expects people to, you know, they already kind of got their feet wet, they kind of understand what gaming is about, they played Smash before. So now he's focusing more on making this game a little bit more hardcore, and hopefully he can put more advanced techniques in the game 
and put more stuff that all us, you know, hardcore players like to see in a fighting game, in a really great fighting game like Super Smash Brothers. Another example, a final example, is the Mario Kart developer for Mario Kart 8. He was pretty much saying that he wants to make Mario Kart 8 the ultimate experience that kind of takes a little bit from each Mario Kart game, all the best bits from all the Mario Kart games, and smash them all into this one epic Mario Kart 8 game. And when you look at some gameplay, you can even see some people snaking a little bit. It's not to the extent of Mario Kart DS, but they're still a little bit snaking, you know, on these straightaways and things like that. There's a little bit of, you know, advanced techniques that you can do and things like that. So overall, in general, I think Nintendo is bringing the challenge back to their games, and they're really trying to find a medium now, a legit medium, in between hardcore experiences and more casual experiences and try to meet somewhere in the middle. Again, for New Super Luigi U, that game is pretty hard, but Nintendo even added things like playing as Nabbit, right? You can play as Nabbit in single player and you don't have to take any damage. So just in case a level is so, so hard for you, you can't even complete it, you can always rely on Nabbit to safely complete the level relatively easy. So I kind of like that compromise. I understand that there's a lot more casual players. I understand that players don't really have a lot of time to invest in video games. I necessarily don't have that time, but I still appreciate the skill that you can actually demonstrate in these games. So I'm kind of happy that Nintendo is kind of finding a happy balance, a happy medium between hardcore experiences and casual experiences. I hope this continues in the future, and I hope to see these great franchises kind of live again, kind of come up again, and show why these games were great in the first place. My name is Killout 404. That is a commentary today. I'm out, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.